people out there, it is Carla from Rayhan's World of Connections. And here I am, today I'm here to speak to Tahir Ramson. And he is going to teach, talk to us about a program that is happening at Google this coming summer that is open to everyone. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Ishar. Hey, Saeed. Thank you for coming. And I'm waiting for him to come in. He should be here any second. I just sent him his tag and sending him. Oh, he is here. I'm adding him now. Hello, Tahir. How are you doing? Hello. I am well. How are you? I am well. And welcome to Rayhan's World of Connections. Can you quickly introduce yourself and then we'll talk about your program that you're doing this summer? Okay. Uh, I am Tahir Ramzan and I am from Azad Kashmir, Pakistan. And uh, I am volunteer to spread awareness regarding open source, particularly Google Open Source, uh, Google Summer of Code project. And I believe it is really important thing to introduce and aware my country's fellows uh, who have lack of knowledge and lack of awareness. And uh, I think it's a uh, well for job. Can you and I am doing... Oh, uh, sorry. Go on. Oh, I, and I am doing uh, MSCS. Um, and my specialization are the areas of research are uh, educational technologies and I am focused to educate underprivileged uh, students uh, part, uh, for example child labor or women or farmers and this is all what I do. Now what do you mean by open source? I don't understand that term. Uh, open source is basically a term for, it is a scientific term or science and development term, uh, research and development term. Uh, we can say something is open uh, to replicate, something is open to verify, is op called open source. Uh, like if someone says uh, there is a theory of science or there is a law of science uh, or there is a theorem of science, then we need to replicate that, else, uh, we, else we will have not any clue or any evidence or any proof to know if some scientist is saying something or uh, truth or not. Similarly, open source is a, some sort of software which you have access to their source code, their backend, their uh, features and functionalities. So you can replicate and uh, to develop to your own with modification or without any modification. This is free for uh, everyone. Okay. Now you're doing this at Google. Can you, I'm a little confused by this whole thing. Can you tell me a little more about it? Thank you. Think of it as you're talking to someone who's who knows nothing about what you're doing. So you want to make it very simple for me. Okay. Um, uh, the reason behind why I volunteer myself is or uh, I now there is a lot of lack of awareness, information, and knowledge. So I think it is most important and critical skill or uh, ability to have for my nation fellows and so uh, that's why I spread this knowledge. Uh, for example, open source is free. That means you need to volunteer your time. You need to develop something free. Even you will gain a lot of experience, lot of exposure and lot of connections to uh, establish your portfolio and profile and to get jobs. But nobody want to do free work. Uh, like, here is a place where Google Summer of Code comes. Uh, Google Summer of Code 
is uh, from 3000 uh, us dollars to 6600 us dollars for this uh, volunteer work so students who want to showcase uh, their talent to the world want to develop their portfolio want to develop their profile and want to serve or, or want to learn can uh, can, uh, can join this program uh, that's why i am awaiting everyone um, as uh, i know there are only five students in last year who have accomplished this task on the other hand 641 from india uh, done this task okay now how did they get all this seems to be more for india and pakistan these but it's happening in california can you explain how that happened and how it came together kindly uh, rephrase your question this program seems to be more for indian and pakistani youth correct don't read yes. the comments there are people here that should not be here and they want me to get angry and we're going to ignore them um anyway back to what i was saying there are the program seems to be geared for indian and pakistani students why is it happening in in california at google can you make that a little okay. clearer okay this is a global opportunity for everyone uh, people from usa people from china people from uk people from all around the world can participate india is top country to participate us is second and pakistan is the uh, la, uh, in uh, stands in last position okay but why is it if it's being geared for india and pakistan why is it being brought to, why is it being done in us Don't read the comments. Forget them. We have okay. some trolls in here. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your question? Why do you? Why are you doing the program on in in California instead of India and Pakistan? okay uh, definitely it uh, is to outreach more people and definitely uh, uh, we spread our message without any border without any religion without any nations uh, the reason behind our campaign is to aware and educate people about this opportunity that this is without any discrimination google will not discriminate you with uh, with with regard to your country with regard to your university with regard to your language with regard to your religion so uh, it is open for all and definitely it encourage to connect with other people if somebody don't know english he, he will not he or she will not able to win this uh, scholarship jeff ignore the comments it's very sad i know um i have a friend who's trying to help me and i just want him to ignore it do me a favor let's get back to the subject at hand because that's more important you're bringing are you in charge of this program that you that's going on at google okay i have done this uh, program two times uh, and google allows uh, Uh, don't allow more than two times so now i am now i am uh, educate to uh, spread a, a awareness about this so your job now or what you're try your intention is to get more people from pakistan and india to come to this program at google am i right anybody can come uh, 
in this program but definitely there is there are least people come from pakistan that is due to lack of awareness and lack of knowledge so definitely where there is a gap we need to address that gap and educate people about this opportunity can you tell me more about the activities that you do when you're at google okay uh, basically we uh, this program is open source software uh, and connect students with open source organization uh, to deliver software for uh, masses like software who were used by million of people who are used by high highly intensive devices and if a person is unemployed or a student he need internship or he need any experience then uh, and nobody ready to give his job and there is a, a lack of jobs here so uh, if anybody in graduate in computer science information technology and software engineering then he can use this platform to showcase to their talents to the world and he can build their profile and portfolio and he ha- will have some sense of accomplishment what did you learn from this program that was so that made you want to do it twice and also do okay. it more uh, than once okay uh, i have uh, uh, done this twice and i had developed a extension for a open source project named swift crm in 2015 and i had developed an other module for a project named mod security but what i earn is and learn is the to communicate with the uh, world to communicate with the professionals and experts of high caliber uh, which are not accessible uh, else here so that why i am doing this to uh, help helping others that's why uh, we are talking now okay tell me more tell me about the type of activities that you do at the program do you come okay. do you learn new things of developing about developing software that you would not have learned when you were in school uh, google is looking for students and students are newbies students don't know anything students are beginners uh, so uh, but google accept only those students who want to learn who want to commit their time to learn and who are serious uh, enough to contribute and to serve uh, so definitely student don't need any experience but student need to show commitment to learn things and definitely student will learn a lot of things by participating this program then he will be able to develop something and deliver something else he will fail or even mentors or judges will now before uh, selection uh, by proposal if student is able to do something or is student is able to learn something or new or not uh, like there was a may april was the deadline and uh, there is one month of assessment in that one month mentors and judges give task to students to assess them to evaluate them to test their capabilities uh, are they able to learn something or not so there is full of learning full of networking and full of exposure about how many people when you took it were on the program uh more than 1000 they t- uh, take wow 12 1200 or 1500 students every year there are 14000 student uh from last 14 year wow that's amazing and what did you like most about the program this hello hello i'm listening what did you like most about the program okay your voice is not clear let me try again what did you like most about the program did my 
Hold on. Can you hear me now better? Yes. Okay. My um, headphones ran out of battery. What was your favorite part of the program? Okay. Uh, all projects are my uh, favorite projects. Uh, I consider this as a great opportunity to connect with open source organizations. There are more than 200 organizations, and uh, every organization is running by bunch of volunteers are who want to serve uh, other students so we can connect in any project whatever you want and definitely uh, there are a lot of a lot to learn new things so i like all project okay do you stay in a dorm when you're there or are you in hotels where do you stay What kind of housing do you have when you are at the program? This is a remote job. You can do this from your home. You don't need oh. to move any. Uh, yes. I thought you did it by going to California. You don't go to California for it? No, no, this is a remote job. You can do from your home while you are studying, while you are doing uh, your other jobs. This is this type of activity. You can do it online. So is, are there dates for the program when it happens? What are the dates? When is it going to be happening? Okay. Uh, that season of 2019 is expired. And next will be open from next February 2020. And how long does the program take? How long is it? Uh, this is four month program. And it starts in February and goes through June, or when does it start? Uh, it, it, it ends on uh, August. And how do Very... people how do people go about applying for it? Uh, they need to visit the website summer of code dot with google dot com. There are uh, 200 plus organizations they need to uh, review their pages and they need to uh, review their ideas they need to connect with mentors they need to join um, their communication channels their, their email list their slack channels and they need to discuss their ideas and their learning capabilities and their skills uh, with mentors and then they need to submit proposals they can submit three proposals or uh, two, three different organizations, and if uh, they can convince the mentor, uh, they will be selected. So it's a free program. You can yes, do it a as a student. That's yes, this really is a free, wonderful. Yes, this is a free program. So, and you've done it two times already. Yes. I thought, and excuse my ignorance here, I thought the program was something that you needed to go to Google to do. Um, but it isn't. Now, you're a student yourself, and what are you talk? Let's talk about what you have studied. Okay. okay. What have you been studying? Okay, I am studying computer sciences, uh, particularly educational technologies, uh, or that how to teach mathematics using distance learning, or to, how to teach mathematics to remote students. Uh, this is what I am doing. And you're doing that from, you're from what part? You're from Kashmir in, in Pakistan, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. How many of your friends have taken part in this program? Have your friends also taken part of this program? Okay. Uh, one friend uh, who suggested me about this, uh, took part of this program. 
other are trying and my all surroundings and are trying to participate but that this is a competitive program you need to be competitive uh, need high caliber of programming to select it how did you find out about it initially okay uh, i learned it from a, uh, my a senior university fellow who read, read, read about it from twitter okay the bad friend also take the program at some point yes uh, he done it once before me and that person inspired you to take the program correct yes bilkul that okay and um, and uh, and uh, now i am inspiring others to take part of it and produce more volunteer programmers who want to serve others now this program is free it doesn't cost anything you just need to apply right yes you need to apply and if you will uh, be succeeded then google will pay you some 6600 dollars they pay you to do the program yes how okay how many hours do you need to um spend doing the program per day um uh, student need to commit 35 hours per week at least oh wow how many hours did it um 7 hours per day 7 hours per day now don't read the comments there are very rude comments forget about them because they're not asking anything of any relevance and we're not going to spend our time dealing with these people um <laughs> i feel very badly that you need to experience this right now as part of our conversation back to the conversation which is more important so you spent 7 hours a day doing this for 2 years correct uh no for 4 months for 4 years 4 months and what was the most important thing that you learned from okay. the program uh, okay the, the most important thing is your communication skills uh, how you can convey your idea and how you can ask uh, questions from your mentors and how you can turn uh, idea to real software almost we can say learning is the most important thing uh, 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 to learn about this program now to learn quickly Okay, was your English very good when you started out on the program? No. <laughs> My English is still very bad. Uh, so, oh, no, uh, no, no. Your English is very nice. I can understand every word you're saying. Do never say my English is bad. You are learning uh, to speak it and you're doing a great job. Go on. Okay. Uh, earlier uh, my english was n- uh, not really good uh, and uh, i was struggling with my english and my communication skills uh, but uh, after this program i took a, a lot of uh, calls and meetings with mentors and with judges and with admin organi- uh, or uh, admins of organizations and other developers uh, and i learned regularly so uh, i have improved my english i have improved my programming knowledge i have improved my scientific knowledge uh, and i know how to communicate with the world very good so you've gained a lot of confidence from the program yes confidence you know, I, i really would like you to come and talk about this at my learn english by speaking english show because again a lot of people listen to the show 
but they will also come and talk to you about it and ask you questions that they need to know. How old do you need to be to be on the to be a part of this program? Okay, uh, you need to be a student, and you need to be at least at uh, eighteen years of age. Uh, there are only two conditions: you need to be older than eighteen, and you need to be a student. You can be student of any uh, program, A levels, O levels, bachelor's, master's, PhD, no matter uh, what uh, uh, which type of student, uh, which level of student you are. So can, let's say, someone who's 40 or 50 but wants to learn about software take this program? Yes. There, uh, there is no restrictions of higher age. Uh, the only restriction is a student need to be at least 18 years or older. And the participant need to be a student. Uh, he can be a student of PhD, uh, which to was as is more than 65 years or more than 100 years. That's really great. And what is the application process like? What do you need to do to apply? Okay, first of all, you need to visit their website. There are more than 200 organizations. You need to select your favorite organizations based on your interest and uh, your interest can be artificial intelligence, mobile programming, web app development, uh, wow. robotics, embedded system. Uh, first of all, you need to narrow down uh, your interest. Then you need to narrow down your field. Like if you are a software developer, or if you are a biotechnologist, or if you are a medical professional, there are a lot of different uh, fields uh, there. Then you need to narrow down your programming language or uh, technical platforms like if you are proficient in C, C++, Python, uh, Ruby, Android, whatever programming language you love. Then after narrow down your interest, you will find at least 10 to 20 organizations related to your interest from 200 organizations. Uh, there will be a lot of information about that project uh, that organization and what they are looking for, for uh, looking from students. Uh, you will find a lot of ideas to develop and deliver the project. And you will find the volunteer mentors and you need to connect with them. You need to connect with the community. The community is based on Slack channels, type, uh, email list, uh, IRC channels, and you need to contribute yourself. You need to ask questions. You don't need to answer questions, you don't need to help other people. That uh, Then the core programmers will now, you are interested in their project and you are contributing something. Then uh, uh, when you uh, discuss your ideas with the mentor, the mentor will tell you to submit the proposal. Then you need to submit the proposal. In proposal, you need to tell them what are your qualifications, what are your skills, and what skills are required from mentor, what type of help required from your mentor, and how will you learn your needed skills uh, do, during the program. And you need to define the plan of uh, your project, how, how will you design, how will you develop that particular project. So uh, they will now, the student is committed and student know a lot about their project and their ideas. Excellent. Has this program made you more proficient in the work you do? Has it made it easier for you to do your work? Uh, yes, definitely. Mentors are uh, available to help you, guide you how to accomplish uh, the desired goals. And if you face any difficulty, mentors are always there to help you. And uh, what I am saying, they are all volunteer programmers. There are a lot of hundred or thousands of developers who are working on that type of project. They are ready to help you. You just, just you need to email them, and you need to improve your communication skills, and they will uh, respond to you. Uh, and this is the biggest advantage of this project, uh, this program, that you can learn a lot from others. Uh, programmers and you will be connected with other programmers. 
Excellent. Don't worry about the comments, please. I have had some very rude people coming to the show and acting like idiots recently. So, you know, it's fine. We're going to ignore it. And I know for you it may be very shocking because it's not what I would expect from my audiences. I've never had this until just a few days ago. Anyway, what else would you like to tell me about this program? Because I want to make sure that I've covered everything you want to say. Okay. Uh, the ma the, ma ma the my main focus is to aware people that there is no discrimination. Uh, this is open for all. So there is no discrimination on the basis of any country. If you belong to USA, UK, Pakistan, India, whatever so country. Google will not discriminate you and Google not will discriminate you on the basis of your religion and Google will not discriminate you on your uh, speaking language or on your university or on your qualification. This is open for all and you can uh, learn a lot of things and you must participate to connect with the world. That's why uh, I am uh, connected with you today. I'm glad you decided that you would. And I'm glad that we finally found the time to do it. We were having trouble with that. So let's work. What? How can I do? How can I help you connect with the world more? Well, definitely, people will listen our conversation, and uh, who, uh, if someone will be interested, he will be connected with me. And hopefully they will. After the show, I want you to go into the con con comments and write the website so people can apply for the program. Next, okay? For the next year. Uh, this yeah. year expired for this year. Uh, they will need to apply for next year. So what I want you to do when we're finished I want you to go into the comments and write that information so people okay. will see it. And okay. do you want to tell me anything else before we go, before we end uh, the show? I think we have done a very concise session and we have delivered you know, almost everything. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that you were happy with it. And with that, I think we will end the show. Let's wave goodbye. And I will be back again a little later with another interview. And we are just learning how to connect with each other and communicate with each other through Rehan Alawala's world of connection. Okay, bye. Okay. Thank you for coming. And thank you for thank you.